I'm here in Valencia, Spain for the launch of this car, the all new Audi A8. When you get a top of range car, it's loaded with all the latest technology. It's their flagship and it's here to showcase exactly what tricks Audi can pull off these days. From rear steering to active suspension to electromagnetic suspension to a 48 volt electrical system for the engine, for mild hybrids, for full plug-in hybrids, V6, V8, it's all in this car. So we're going to talk a little bit about the outside. Large oversized grille now at the front of this car. It's very upright, gives a sense of presence and power. Framing the grille are LED headlamps with laser activated lights over 70 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, we don't get the active shutters that they do in Europe. Around the back, you see the full taillight across the back of the car. That's OLED technology, not LED. It has the tracer lights. And the whole sense of the back of the car is width and power and elegance. And that's really the way this car looks. It's quite understated. It's not brash and in your face. It's a sophisticated, polished flagship model. So inside is a rolling luxury showcase. And then we'll take it out on the drive and show you exactly what this car is capable of doing. Well, the inside of the A8, this is their flagship model, has the best materials, beautiful leather, real wood, aluminum, high piano gloss finish on the dashboard, soft touch materials all the way down to the bottom. In fact, the bottom of the door panel is still covered in leather. Beautiful sumptuous leather with heated, cooled seats, massaging seats in the front, massaging seats in the back, reclining seats in the back. These are all the features that are available in this car. Now, first and foremost, when you sit in this new A8, you notice two screens, actually three screens. You have the virtual cockpit behind the steering wheel. We've seen that with other Audi products. It's especially nice when you're someone new, like I'm driving around here in Spain, I don't know where I'm going, to be able to get the turn-by-turn -turn information not only on the screen behind the steering wheel, the heads-up display, but also in the center of the dashboard where there's two more screens. The one above is where you interact with the phone, the telephone, your radio, and those sorts of things. The one below is more for the HVAC system. There's very few redundant buttons here on the center console. You have a good old-fashioned volume knob, which is nice. You know, I always complain about that. But the rest of the dashboard is very simple. So what they're able to do with this is to add much more complexity to this car by having them inside a screen instead of trying to clutter the dash with more switches. The upside to that is it's a very modern look. The downside is it shows a lot of fingerprints. Now the lower screen also has the ability for you to trace letters and numbers for looking at phone numbers or addresses the same way they used to with the trackpad in the center. Now it's the whole bottom screen. So two large screens in the center. I do like the way they integrate the map, the Google Earth map with your destination. It looks very futuristic but also natural. It's a natural look. It's not an artificial map. You're looking at real pictures of your surrounding area. Now when we arrived here yesterday, they picked us up in these Audi A8 and took us to a beautiful presentation display right downtown in Valencia. Very modern looking buildings and got to experience the back seat with their screens back there. They're actually removable tablets if you want to take them out. And the massaging features and the reclining seats are very comfortable. Uh, but you know what? This is a car that you can also drive with very advanced technology. So in Canada, all of the A8s will have the long wheelbase. We're not getting the short wheelbase. And there's two gasoline power plants. The one I'm driving right now, which is the three liter turbo V6. It's a single turbo, but variable scroll puts out 340 horsepower on the European uh, cycle. So we'll have to get the official Canadian or North American numbers closer to the on sale date. And this engine has a lot of jump. It's surprisingly quick for such a big car. But then again, this car is made up of uh, three or four different materials. It has uh, steel, lightweight steel, aluminum, and magnesium making up the body of this car. So it's 32% more rigid and also very light. So the engine is going to an eight-speed Tiptronic, not a dual clutch, and of course, because it's a, a quattro all-wheel drive system. And then the upgraded engine is a V8 twin turbo, four liter, so that has two turbochargers, and the output on that one is 440 horsepower. But to be honest with you, for everyday use, this six is just fantastic. So in Canada, you're gonna have the option to get the uh, electromechanical suspension, which we have in this car. So it's an air suspension, a standard equipment, but optional are four electro motors or servos that actuate 
the suspension. So it can raise the suspension, lower the suspension, and it actually adds a very cool safety measure to this car. So let's uh, have a look at that. And using the car's side sensors, it can detect an object just about to side swipe the A8. In this demonstration, a block was rolled towards the side of the car protected by a barricade. Just before impact, the car automatically raises the suspension seven centimeters, and it's all done in a millisecond, so that the impact is absorbed by the strongest part of the body, the rocker panels. The system then uses the car's onboard camera to detect bumps or holes in the road. The suspension will raise just before arriving at the bump and absorb much of the impact, making the ride voluptuously smooth. In this demonstration, the Audi A8 goes over two bumps with the system off. Then in the other direction, the system is on. The larger bump is 12 centimeters and the car's suspension travels 11 centimeters. So effectively, the bump is just one centimeter high and it does make a huge difference. It's amazing technology that's seamless. It does it all while you're driving to the point where you just think, well, this is how a normal car should feel. It's only if you got out of this car and into another car, you would notice quite a difference. So this car has level three autonomous driving. Level four is where you just type in a destination and the car takes you there. So this is one down from that. So it has autonomy up to about 60 kilometers an hour. You push a button here, it's called Audi AI, and the car will literally drive for you at speeds up to 60 kilometers an hour, enabling the driver to take their hands fully off the wheel and do something else. Uh, which uh, may be uh, an issue with uh, regulations where you live, but the idea that the car can actually do the driving for you in those really mundane stop and go situations when you're just in bumper to bumper traffic will be definitely beneficial, whether you're stuck on the Don Valley Parkway, uh, trying to get through the Massey Tunnel or the, uh, the Cartier Bridge in Montreal, any of those places in Canada where it's bumper to bumper traffic, you turn this on and the car does all the driving for you. So I talked about the power plants. Now all of the power plants that we get in Canada will also be mild hybrids. It uses the alternator to help power the car and that's because it has a new 48 volt electrical system and the battery's not that big. And what that enables the car to do is at low speeds when you're coming up to a stop, it switches the engine off and it allows the car to coast for about 40 seconds without the engine running. And then you come to a full stop, you lift your foot off the, the brake and the car will start up again, the engine will start up again. So all of these incremental changes, having the ability of the engine to switch off more often than not, can improve the fuel economy by 0.7 liters per 100 kilometers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you add that up over weeks and months and years, that's quite a bit of fuel savings. And we're gonna see this more and more, cars with 48 volts systems. That isn't for the electronics in the car, there's just a regular 12 volt system for that. The 48 volt system is there to aid the car with its mild hybridization when you don't need the power, when you're coasting. So this new Audi A8 is only going to be sold with a long wheelbase in Canada. It's coming in the summer of next year, 2018. And if you look at the current model configuration, the long wheelbase A8 starts around $112,000. So this is not an inexpensive product. And we don't know the price of this model moving forward, but it's loaded with all kinds of new technology, fantastic new interior, great driving dynamics. The six cylinder to me really is uh, quite a star of the show. It's a car that you can drive every single day with ultimate luxury, but have some fun when you need to. And it's gonna be interesting to see how they can add to this car with electronic updates as the years go by.